Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is another crochet hair review video. In today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, is the Rasta Free Pond Curl Hair. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, welcome, smash that subscribe button. But this is how this video works. It's not a tutorial, not a DIY, not an install video. This is purely a review video, meaning I come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair, showing you how it looks the first day that you install the hair, telling you whether overall was an easy install, hard install, how many times the hair was knotted, and overall how the hair just looks on that very first day. Then I come on here with my one week thoughts of a crochet hair, showing you how it looks one week in, telling you whether overall it has been high maintenance or low maintenance with the hair over the past week, and overall if I needed to add any products or anything to the hair over the first week. Then I come on here with my final thoughts of the hair, whether it's been four, five, six, seven weeks with the hair, I show you how it looks on the literal last day that I'm going to wear said crochet hair, telling you overall whether it went uphill, downhill, in the matter of all those weeks, whether it's water friendly, active wear friendly, and overall whether I just recommend you purchase said hair. So this is a full body review video that you get from me. So again, that's why you want to smash that subscribe button. If you want to skip around to certain parts, say the first day, first week and all that, there are timestamps down below. But if you just want to flow right through the video, keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this Rasta Free Pond Curl hair. A few moments later. So now coming on here for my first day thoughts on this Rasta Free Pond Curl hair. This is what this hair looks like overall on its very first day. Let me do a swirl in my chair so you can see the sides of this hair. I have not cut this hair. If you're familiar with my channel on my very first day, I do not cut the hair. So I want to show you how it looks. If you install it straight from the pack, no manipulation at all. This is exactly the length you're going to get. This is exactly the look that you're going to get. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I try either black owned, black supported, or hair that you can find at black beauty supply stores. Now, this hits two of those quadrants. This is a black supported, heavily black supported brand. When I say heavily black supported, I've been following them, I'd say roughly for a year. So even before the world kind of turned upside down with the recent Black Lives Matter and we continuing to apply pressure to these major brands, even before all that, I can say Rasta Free has always been very vocal about their their black support so that is why I wanted to feature them on my channel even on the back of the pack of this hair they have a black woman the product developer for their hair her name is Sherelle Jackson to show black women you don't see this on the back of you know your free trans outray wrappers you don't see the product development so to see the highlight this even on their Instagram they highlight that they are in black beauty supply stores they will go to every black beauty supply store they have and just you know showcase that they are lining the shelves of these stores so it brings me great pleasure to bring you such a great powerful black supported brand on this channel but I digress let's get into the hair now this hair this is not a sponsored video again I'm passionate about my black supported brands this hair I bought with my own money from a site called GMBS hair you guys have heard me talk about this online retailer on my channel before I bought my last Rasta free Jamaican curl hair uh, from that same vendor you guys know I had issues with them at that time though they had some stuff on back order that they didn't communicate well so the Shipping took a little bit longer that time. This time it took a week, which isn't bad. I think online it advertised that, you know, depending on your distance, it'll get to you in a certain amount of days. It got to me from Friday. So I ordered it on a Friday, got it the next Friday. So I purchased six packs of this hair, which cost $9.99 a pack. On the back of the package of this hair, it says four to six packs are needed to achieve this style. I ended up using, this is the six packs. This is the fifth pack. I used four and a half packs to achieve the style I have in right now so I do not think you need to purchase six packs I think you would be fine with five packs of this hair again this hair runs you $9.99 a pack on this site it probably is a little bit cheaper if you do go into your beauty supply store now the thing about this hair it is heavily on the west coast heavily on the west coast the importer or the manufacturer parent brand of this is called golden state imports uh, this, the package is shiny i'll try to insert kind of a picture golden state imports golden state being the great state of california even the great state of california is located on their package so this hair is heavily on the west coast a lot of my california followers out there are very familiar with this brand some of us east coasters over here like me in north carolina we're not so familiar with this brand but it is pack hair you can find it in a lot of west coast retailers and if you want to buy it online this is so far the only retailer i have been able to find that supplies this hair now this pond curl this is a special claim it's 
says and if you can see at the top it has a couple of kind of key components on it first of all it has h2o at the top so it says h2o it says water resistant so on the back of this hair it says introducing rasta freeze h2o pond curl crochet braid designed with 100 percent uno fiber which says in quotation marks acra h2o acra h2o possesses a water glide technology that activates fast drying perfect for washing and swimming alleviating bacterial with antibacterial agents Agents. It's lightweight, bouncy, soft, and resilient in fiber. It claims a lot. Now, what drew me to this hair when I saw it on their Instagram page was, of course, that water resistant claim. You guys know my top watch video is my best hair for water vacations, cruises, and all that. So I'm always on the search for hair that will work for your water situations. I started this channel based off me going on a cruise and I wanted something water resistant. So it makes sense for me to search for hairs that claim to be water resistant. Now they have, I think, four hairs in this line with this claim on it. They don't just have pond curls. So again, this isn't the only curl you're kind of reserved to, but it's the first curl I wanted to try because it, it's kind of in my vein. You guys know this kind of curl is in my wheelhouse. This look is in my wheelhouse. Not having cut this hair and it not having kind of the inches on the back of the pack I would say this hair is roughly about 14 inches again this is a good length though of course you can cut it up if you feel like you must but again I think this is a great length I don't see myself cutting it a lot though so you're probably going to see me throughout my wear with this you guys know I love a 12 14 or 16 inch those are my jam I don't know if I talked in my intro about my braid pattern but if you are familiar with my channel you know the braid pattern it's the same straight back braid pattern that I have in every single video meaning that I could part my hair on pretty much any side that I want but I'm probably going to be myself and create and keep a left side part because again that's my jam that's how I like to roll over here now as you probably saw from the packaging I do have this hair in a color too it looks a lot darker I guess on camera and kind of probably as you're seeing it, it probably looks like a 1b or 1 inch it looks very very dark in the sunlight if I go outside you can see kind of the hints of a little bit of a lighterness to it uh, but I will say and it probably isn't helping that I have a black shirt on a black board back there and now you're seeing it it kind of has a very black look very stark black but it's not as stark as you would think but this hair comes in a variety of colors that's one thing I do like about this brand is they have a 1 1b 2 287 34 51 60 I mean the numbers and numbers go on with this brand so you can have your pick of the litter with the color selection for this but I did want to stay kind of traditional just to see how this went I've not applied any product to this hair as of yet maybe will throughout my wear you guys will see that in my upcoming thoughts and I will say just off bat the feel of this hair it's very soft that's one thing I will say it is very lightweight but it's very soft it's very reminiscent to me of that model model Dominican curl hair that I've tried on this channel very much so that exact same feel exact same feel let me see if I can pull out some of the hair too so you can kind of see how it comes so this is the hair I didn't use from that fifth pack and this is kind of how the hair comes it already comes you don't have to split the hair you can split the hair but if you want to keep it and install it as is this is how I installed it so every single piece is as this kind of curl is so very easy to separate each curl you just kind of pull it and you know you have it you can split it but again I just went and split this hair I feel like you got to get a pretty decent curl with the hair as it is so again easy enough to kind of install this hair for me installed and take more than three hours with it being so similar to model model Dominican curl and me not really loving model model Dominican curl I'm, I'm interested to see how this hair kind of goes and it continues to go throughout I was expecting this hair to have a little bit more of a rigid texture just because it says it's so h2o you know resistant of course I'm going to test to see if this hair is you know water friendly probably won't swim because we are in the middle of fall and it's you know October October weather it doesn't really bode well for swimming in somebody's pool but I will definitely definitely twist this hair out and getting it wet and seeing how that works so if you want to continue to see my first week thoughts how I feel about this hair one week from now just keep watching to see my first week thoughts on this pond curl hair one week later so now coming on here for my one week thoughts on this rasta free pond curl hair now let me get up in camera so you guys can see what 
one week of this hair looks like. Do a turnaround as you guys can see or you should be able to notice I did cut the hair not drastically but I did cut it a little bit just to kind of frame it a little bit. People ask me all the time for a cut video. I am not a good cutter. I'm trying to tell you guys right now it is not good. Like you guys would be so disappointed in said video because I'm not good. I'm just going any which way with the scissors. Please watch a more skilled, more defined content creator for that. I will never claim to be a beautician, never claim to be a cosmetologist. Cutting is one thing I lack. So I do have it in some form of a style right now. I'm okay with it. The one thing I will say is kind of sides can be very kind of puffy, very big hair. It gives me a very 80s vibe, which I'm always loving the 80s, but sometimes not with the hair. I also will say one week in, very much so fringe is city right here in the front but I knew that was gonna happen because I think I said in my first day thought this hair is very soft if you know me soft and me aren't really best friends when I see a hair that totes that it is soft or claims and wows and says hey we're soft to get us I'm not always drawn to those hair because I know what's going to come with that and what comes with that is a level of frizz. Now it's not unbearable, it's not manageable. The one thing I will say is you're going to very first day need to put some mousse on this hair and that's what I did the very first day. I ran some mousse. This is just my Vigoral mousse nothing special again if you watch my crochet hair products that you need for a crochet hair video you guys know I make mention of this mousse and me having this mousse really like this mousse all I did was just apply it to my hand and break it through pretty much that first day so after I filmed my first day thoughts I went into the mirror cut 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 and then put a little bit of mousse on my hair to kind of tame some of the frizz that I knew was going to come later and I think it does a good job I have not applied it except for that first day throughout this week so I did it that first day and haven't done it since but I think overall it really did do a good job of making it feel a little bit more manageable I'll say it doesn't make it stiffer I will say if you over apply it it can make the hair sticky you don't want to over apply it I just do maybe about two kind of squirtfuls of my mousse and I just run it through my hair Overall, I haven't applied any water to it. I'll do that somewhere in between this week and my final thoughts. So somewhere in between, you'll see me do a water experimentation test because again, this hair totes that it is great for water situations. And I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna see if it is that way. Overall, a nighttime routine, all I do is pineapple my hair. So just pulling all my hair to the top, putting a scrunchie around it, putting my scarf on. That's all I've done. I haven't done anything but that for the last week. I don't plan on doing anything different. I don't plan on twisting this hair up. I plan on pineappling throughout the duration of me wearing this hair. But overall, that has been my first week thoughts. Very medium maintenance. Definitely a hair that I'm going to have to stay on top of. I know I'm going to have to cut some of that frizz out throughout the weeks of wear. But that is information that I will definitely bring for you guys on my final thoughts. Whether I'm able to wear this hair three, four, five, six, seven weeks. You guys will see that in my final thoughts. Later. So now I am back. It is week four with this hair. And today I'm going to do the actual water test with this hair. Now, spoiler. Alert, I've already tested this hair with water before this so I already know how it's gonna react in water but today's video is to show you how it reacts in water not giving any opinion to my final thoughts I already know how I feel about this hair though but keep watching to see my final thoughts but I do just want to put that water friendliness that water specificness to the test for you guys on camera right now so I'm here by my sink and it's been four weeks with this hair and this is what it looks like at four weeks with this pond curl but Let's get some water on this hair and I'll show you how it reacts. So just got this hair wet and this is what it looks like. I literally, I mean literally just got this hair wet um, and it's already drying. So again, like I said, I already tested this so I knew how it was going to react, but this hair is super super fast drying i mean crochet hair already and i've talked about this in video synthetic largely and it already dries fast a lot of the hair i've tried in the past has dried really fast which is what i make mention to in some of my water friendly videos is that if you get your hair wet you dump your hair in water you don't have to worry about sitting there looking soggy for a period of time you don't have that effect with a lot of crochet hair this in particular i mean it drives within minutes so having said that 
yes this hair is friendly towards water this hair has a great reaction to water fast drying during water and it doesn't change the texture or consistency of the hair when it gets wet or when you apply water to it so I mean even sitting here right now it's drying up on me and there's nothing really you know different about what's going on right now but I will say please continue to watch to see my final thoughts on this hair because I will tell you if it's a hair I'll go on vacation with, if it's active friendly, if it's all that, which will be probably next week. I'll probably take this hair out at five weeks, but you'll see that coming up right now. Later. So now coming on here for my final thoughts on this Rasta Free Pond Curl Hair. As you can see from the signage, it has been five weeks with this hair and I'm going to try to do this tactfully. If you've seen one of my previous vlogs, you already know my feelings about this hair. That's why it's important to watch all my videos. Some of my videos give you little drops and little nuggets, so you wouldn't have had to wait to the review or the final thoughts to know exactly how I feel. I do not like this hair. I know, I, mean, I was trying to figure out the correct words all weeks, all the weeks that I've worn it, I've been trying to figure it out. And a lot of people think when I wear hair for an extended period of time that I automatically love the hair. I think when I wear hair for, you know, four or five weeks, people are like, okay, she must love the hair. I show you pictures. I do wear hair for several weeks and sometimes it's because of just circumstance. I wanted to take this hair out pretty much week two. Week two, I was pretty much like, okay, I've worn this hair I got my idea of this hair I, I'm good enough with it but my last couple weekends have been pretty busy you guys know I went to Asheville if you saw one of my vlogs it just wasn't the right time so I just had to wait it out but I've been pretty much ready to take this hair out since about week two now what I think about this hair overall I do think it's very pretty those first couple of days I do think it was very beautiful but it's very 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 high maintenance meaning like even if you look at it right now I mean I pull one curl all the hair comes up it's pretty much a bunch a lot of my hair is just a matted mess it's just kind of a one big cohesive like again I'm pulling one thing the whole shebang comes up because you're going to have to stay on detangling this hair constantly constantly I mean almost every other day when i put a hair in a high maintenance category it's typically a hair that i have to detangle i mean at minimum you know every three days this is a almost every day detangling situation which i don't love i love a low maintenance hair my whole thing is about loving and finding and trying low maintenance hair this hair just isn't low maintenance and then after a while it just loses its curl ability it just doesn't look as curly anymore in real life the first couple of days i got complimented out the Busa. Like I walk Winnie every single day, my dog Winnie, every single day and I would run across people, people would say I love your hair, I love your hair. That stopped pretty much after week two again because I didn't even love the hair. So if you said I love your hair, you'd be pretty much lying at that point. Again, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't even look the same during week one. And again, I'm going to get rid of the camera right now so you guys can see. It still kind of looks curly maybe to you on camera, but it's just very, very tangled. And you guys know on this channel, I've reviewed hair that are curly that don't have this same connectability. I've tried curly hairs that are a lot better than this. Not every curl is made equal. Not all curls are the exact same. A lot of people are probably like, it's crochet hair, what do you expect? There's gonna be some tangles, there's gonna be some matting. Yes, I know that is what comes with crochet hair, but I've tried, again, hair that, that is in this same vein that doesn't have the same problems that this hair is having right now. And I don't know if it's because of the materials used to create this hair. If you guys know, remembering my first day thoughts and looking back at my week four thoughts, you guys saw I did get this hair wet so meaning that this hair had those fibers that were supposed to be you know created specifically to get wet I think that it already doesn't work well on land you guys know my saying if a hair doesn't work well on land I definitely don't want to take it under the sea and with this hair it works good with water it reacts really well to water but I would have probably needed to get this hair wet day one day two day three day four so is this hair water friendly in my opinion maybe yes if you're taking it on your water activities day one two three four and five maybe but if you are taking it week three four five and 
six. And that's the thing I always say about crochet hair. The thing I love about it is you don't have to get your hair freshly done and then go on your vacation. You can have your hair, wear it out for a couple weeks and then decide to go. This isn't a, I have to get my hair done Friday because I'm leaving on Saturday. You have some wiggle room with crochet hair. I think my very first style that I went on my very first cruise with, I got done two weeks before I actually went on my cruise and it still worked phenomenally well. This isn't a hairdo that you can get done two weeks before your trip and it worked well in water because it will have already started getting into that high maintenance, you know, tangles. I'm gonna have to detangle it every day. I'm gonna have to cut it every day. So no, I don't think this will be my vacation friendly, water friendly hair. I do think it's water friendly in the first two weeks. I think if you're getting it wet weeks later, it's just adding and compounding on the issue of this hair already being I don't want to say a hot mess, but it's not my favorite hair. Again, I'm trying to learn tact when I come to reviewing hairs because this is a brand that tries something new, tries something innovative. And I've even seen on their site that somebody used this to make like butterfly locks. I was like, maybe this is what this hair is made for. Maybe it's not truly meant to be worn loose in the format that I have it in. Maybe it's used for twists. Maybe it's used for locks. Maybe it's used for something else, but I don't know if this is a standalone loose crochet hair that I would feel comfortable with. I would say this is a cute hair and a hair that I think you wear for one two weeks if you're somebody who does wear your hairs for shorter periods of time because I have a lot of you guys out there who wear hair for one two three weeks and that's it that's the max you'll wear I think this might be a good style for you but if you're looking for longevity in your wear again I wanted to take this hair out weeks ago again I don't like having to daily daily detangle a hair that's just not something I love and especially coming off of the island twist hair that I just had in where it was so no maintenance coming to this and it being one of the highest maintenance hair I have ever tried it's no bueno it's no bueno over here so again is this a Lee LeVon recommend I wouldn't but it doesn't make me want to stop trying the Ross Free brand I'm going to find a hair in that line that I'm going to actually love I know it I know it. they have so many hair that I know there's something in the chamber that I'm going to love but this hair isn't it for me and again everything I say in these videos is my opinion if you've tried it and had a different opinion that's awesome that's great share it with others down below but again this is my experience with wearing the hair for five weeks so if you enjoyed this you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed hearing my experience give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it and you're like why is this girl even talking about all this still give it a big thumbs up it helps me out over here on this platform make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this good content that I feel like I produce and make sure you have that notification bell on as well so you can be alerted as soon as soon as soon as I upload a new video make sure you're following me on Instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye